What's your problem, Kuwabara? You don't like croissants? Stupid name, but they taste good. Hey guys, it's Sophia. Welcome to my channel. So I've been seeing a lot of these thrift flip upcycling type videos and I think it's a really great concept to repurpose some of your old clothes. I have a lot of old clothes that um, I don't really wear anymore. So with that, this week I am going to be transforming three items of clothing. These are all clothes that I have thrifted in the past but kind of just worn as is and I think it's time for an update. So hopefully I will be able to transform them into clothes that I'll probably buy from the store anyways. So let's get started. What's your problem, Kuwabara? You don't like croissants? Stupid name, but they taste good. This top already pretty much looks like the Brandy Melville Vivian top, but um, there are some obvious changes that I need to make. So first I'm going to crop it to my hips and hem. I chose that length because I prefer a more modest look. Then I'm going to hem the sleeves and remove a pocket. So here I'm just using a pin as a marker for my desired length. And then using a ruler and a marker, I'm just going around the bottom of the shirt and marking where I'm going to cut. Using shears and leaving about a half an inch of seam allowance, I just started cutting the bottom of the shirt off. And then pin the front and back down. And then of course, my best friend had to see what I was up to. Gotta love that little girl. So I've just finished um, pinning everything down for the hem on the bottom of the shirt and next I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the sleeves. So I'm just using a simple straight stitch to sew all of my projects today. So this is how the bottom hem's looking. And then I did the same thing for the sleeves. I thought why not do a little something something for the sleeves, so I repeated the stitch below the first one. And then did the whole thing again for the other sleeve. Lastly, I use a seam ripper to remove the pocket. Guys, can I just say that I'm pretty proud of myself for this? Like. It looks pretty, pretty much like the shirts on Pinterest that I was looking at. So I am pretty proud of myself. These pants already have a pretty decent fit, but they're kind of too long for the look I want. So all I needed to do was find the length I wanted for the pants and just hem them. This is a tasty burger. And then using a sewing gauge, I made sure I was pinning the same length the whole way around. 
and then I just sewed where I pinned. So these pants were really simple to change, but I think it really helped create the fit I was looking for and just change the overall vibe of the pants. So I'm pretty sure this turtleneck is from the 80s. It's already cute, but I want to change it into a nice square neck top. First, I'm going to need to create the square neckline. Then I want to create peasant sleeves. And finally, I want to crop and hem the bottom just to create a nicer shape for the shirt. So first, to create the neckline, I needed to remove the turtleneck part of the shirt, um, which took quite a while to do. So then just using a pencil, I marked where I wanted the new neckline to be. I should have done this after I removed the turtleneck, but I didn't. And I also didn't turn the shirt inside out to mark it, which I don't know why, but... And then just using my shears, I snipped, snipped away where I marked. I got the idea to cut the neckline I wanted and then sew it from another YouTuber, Nina Florence, who did basically the same thing on a button-down shirt. To make sure I could actually sew everything down how I wanted to, I marked and cut two little slits on the end ends of where I had originally cut so I'm not really sure how to explain this but you'll see in the next clips the slits basically helped me fold everything down how I wanted to so yeah And then I just pinned everything down. I just sewed along where I pinned with a straight stitch as I've been doing for all of my other projects. Quick backstory on this sewing machine. My dad got it from a lady from his work who was moving or something and I'm pretty sure like looking at the manual it's gotta be from the 1900s or some like pretty long ago. Um, but it works great and it's pretty cool so i really like it so to make things a little bit more interesting i decided to add darts um, in the corners of the neckline with a needle and thread and just hand sewing that down Taking an elastic band, 
and I measured it loosely around my wrist and cut that to size and then folding over the end of the sleeve to create a little pocket to put the elastic bed into. I pinned that down and sewed, leaving just a little gap so that I could feed the elastic band through. Here I'm just using a pin to feed the elastic band through the sleeve. Then using a pin to hold them down, I hand stitched both of the ends of the elastic band together. And then after hand sewing closed the gap we left open previously. And once I was done that, I just repeated that for both sleeves. For the bottom of the shirt, I want to cut above the elastic band, but before I could do that, I would need to remove the elastic band so that the fabric would lay more flatly and I could cut it more evenly. So we have to seam rip the elastic band out. Once I did that, I just cut um, following pretty basically following the original place where the ties and the band were. Wasn't a huge fan of how the shirt was looking, so I decided to pin both sides and then sew where I've pinned and cut that bit off. I'm just marking where I want to sew. Just pinning the raw edge down. So I just got done doing like the bottom hem and everything and the shirt's looking pretty good but I think I'm going to do a little bit of ruching just like here to add a little more to the shirt but I've never done that before so we're going to do a little bit of experimenting. I don't know how it's going to turn out but We'll see how it goes. The shirt's looking pretty good, so I'm really excited to show you guys. So for this first method, I decided to just do a straight stitch across where I've marked by hand. I sewed it pretty loosely because we are going to be pulling the ends to create a gathered effect. Thank you. 
So I decided not to use this method because I didn't really like how the thread was showing and that I would need to anyway sew on top of all of this with the machine again to make everything stay. This method, which my sister helped me with, requires an elastic band. Basically what you're going to do is pin down or for sewing later both ends of the band and what you should get is a gathered effect in between them. I decided to use a sewing machine for all of this because it will make the band the most securely attached. Just sewing the other side down as well as across in the middle. This is a tasty burger. This part caused a little bit of cramping for my hands, but basically you're going to stretch the elastic band way out and sew it down like that. Making sure to backstitch so that everything stays in place. And you should be left with a gathered effect. When I tell you how happy I am with the way that this shirt turned out. I'm not lying. I, for my skill level, I haven't really sewn that much before. This was better than I could have imagined from the neckline to the gathers to the sleeves. I'm really happy. enjoyed watching me upcycle some of my clothes. I hope you got inspiration to do the same thing with your wardrobe, just finding random clothes in your closet to change and update. It would mean a lot to me if you would like and subscribe if you did enjoy and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Take care!